So if I say the word hologram, mm -hmm. anything come to mind? Gem. Gem and the holograms. This, <laughs> my nieces have, have this. They <laughs> it never works. <laughs> it never works. No, you're supposed to say the holodeck on Star Trek. But that's Come the, on. I read your script. See, that's that's the hologram and the holodeck are two very different no, things. No, no, it, it's the holodeck is like it's a big hologram. You're, you know, it's, you're such a geek. Well, you know, if you haven't watched Star Trek. The holodeck was just this idea where it's a hologram the size of a room and you can walk into it and the computer generates an environment that you can see and interact with with your eyes. Now, we're a long way, <laughs> Jim, the holodeck. Oh, <laughs> now, we're, we're, we we're a long way from having a holodeck. But actually, we are getting closer to having real holograms. Maybe something like we, we, you see at the beginning of the first Star Wars, right? Where Princess oh, Leia yeah, comes yeah, 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 We yeah. are very close to having something like that that we can use in everyday life. And this is thanks to researchers at RMIT University in Australia. A team led by RMIT University's, a, uh, a team led by RMIT University's distinguished professor, Min Gu, has designed what they call a nano hologram that is simple to make can be seen without special goggles and is 1,000 times thinner than a human hair. Wow. Now, according to Gu, the problem with conventional computer-generated holograms is that they're too big for electronic devices. And you can Google some of these devices to see them in action. They actually are pretty cool, but they're large kind of desktop kind of devices and they do create a hologram. RMIT's ultra-thin hologram overcomes those size barriers by being very, very small. And the cool thing about it is that it would allow you to integrate holography into everyday electronics. So things like uh, screen size, for instance, would be irrelevant. You could use your, your smartwatch or your smartphone to project a full-size screen or even a, a, a 3D model. So once we are able to create holograms for small devices, we have the potential to transform a range of industries. Now, some have called holograms the next disruptive technology, and of course, everything gets called the next disruptive technology. But in this case, I think it could be true. I mean, if you've been around long enough, as I have, to see changes in computing, you can think about uh, how computing itself uh, has inputted, has changed from text-based computing. I don't know if anybody of you out there worked on DOS. I mean, mm -hmm. computing, in case you haven't seen it, used to be typing characters into a screen, right? And then it moved from that to graphical computing systems like you know, Mac, uh, the Mac OS or Windows systems. And this is really kind of the next step. With holograms, we won't be physically constrained by the size of the screen or having to have a keyboard and mouse at our fingertips. You could have a little watch, mm -hmm. and that watch will project a full-size screen that you could interact with mm -hmm. out, in, you know, out in front of you. Yeah. you know, I mean, so this is, I think this will be disruptive when mm -hmm. it gets to that point, and it is actually getting really close. Uh, the, the there's some amazing technology yeah. out there, and if you look at demos of the desktop versions mm -hmm. of holograms, it's pretty trippy. Pretty, pretty trippy, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I think eventually you'll actually, and this does sound like sci-fi, but I think it's true, I mean, they'll you, your eyes will just track, so there'll be a tracking of your eyes, so as right. you just flick around a hologram, it will enter the data, or you'll be able to acquire the data just through flicking your eyes over it. And then once we have our brain implants, well, that whole thing well, will then go the way. There, so. there you go. All right, can't wait for that one. <laughs>